Hello and welcome to this Body Slide Quick Start Guide. Body Slide is a great tool for reshaping Skyrim's unclothed body, outfits, or armor to whatever male or female body shape you want. Simply select the item you want to change, choose the shape you want it to have, and Body Slide will build the NIFs to your specifications. The only trick is that the body or item you want to change has to be Body Slide compatible. To use Body Slide, first download and install the tool using your mod manager just like you would any other mod, and then add bodyslide.exe to your mod manager's executables. You will also need to install one of the compatible body mod add-ons from this list on the main mod page in order to provide Body Slide with the required shape files. Pick your preferred body type from this list and install that mod as normal. This will allow you to create the unclothed body to your desired shape. If you also want to reshape outfits or armors, then you will need their Body Slide mods installed as well. Although for vanilla and DLC items, the required conversion files are already packed into some of these body mods, like CBBE and Himbo. When you launch Body Slide the first time, you will get a pop-up window asking you to confirm your game path. Make sure this points to wherever Skyrim is installed on your system, and be sure the file path ends with data. In the main Body Slide window, you should see sliders and have at least some options in the drop-down boxes up here. If you do not, make sure you have installed a compatible add-on from the list, or you can see the link in this video's description for additional troubleshooting tips. Before you do anything in Body Slide, consider where you want it to put the NIFs it makes. In the Advanced section of the Settings menu, you can set the Body Slide output path. For MO2 users, it is recommended to create a new mod folder for Body Slide's output and point to it here in this box. If you do not, Body Slide can overwrite the NIFs in the original mods folder. Vortex users can also specify a custom folder here or you can leave this blank and the NIFs will be created to the Skyrim data folder, which is fine. Body Slide is a tool that runs entirely outside your game, and it only creates NIFs that you tell it to make. The first drop-down list at the top is where you select what you want to make, and this can be an outfit, armor, jewelry, or whatever version of the unclothed body you want, such as nude, never nude, or physics. If you know the name of the body or item you want to make, type it into the filter box up here to find it more easily. Clear the filter by clicking the little X inside of it. After selecting the item you want to make, use the second drop-down list to choose the shape you want it to have. The shape options will depend on which body mod add-on you have installed. You can choose one of the provided shapes, called presets, or you can use the sliders in the main window to create your own custom shape. Note that there are two sets of sliders, the left side for making the lowest weight NIF and the right side for the highest weight NIF. Both will be made automatically when you build, and both are required for Skyrim outfits to weight slide properly in the game. Click on the preview button here in the middle to see how the shape changes in real time as you choose different presets or move the sliders. You can keep any custom shapes that you make by clicking the Save As button here, give it a name that you'll remember, and be sure to also select the body type group that it belongs to, such as CBBE, 3BA, BHUNP, or Himbo. The main body type is sufficient here. To build a body or an outfit, select what you want to make and the shape you want it to have, and then simply click on the big build button and Body Slide will work its magic. The NIFs will be created using the appropriate path for the plugin, and they will be saved to either the Skyrim data folder by default or the custom location that you have specified in the settings. And that's it. Close Body Slide and open Skyrim and whatever outfit or body you built should appear with your new shape. Note that sometimes you may have to refresh MO2 or redeploy Vortex first. 
If you want to create more than one item at a time, there is a batch build option. Use the group filter to select the group of items that you want to make, select the shape you want them to have, and click on batch build. In the pop-up window, tick or untick the boxes to change your selections. Right click or highlight rows and hit the space bar to select or deselect multiple items. If you have more than one option for the same outfit selected, you will get an additional window asking you to choose which one you want. Make your selections, then click OK, and BodySlide will build all of the items that you ticked. If the mesh's file path is gold, there are multiple options for the selected item. Tick the box to keep the current selection, or right-click to choose from the available versions and then tick the box. The text will turn blue, and your choices will be pre-selected when you batch build. Note that both build buttons have modifier keys you can use to change their behavior. Hover over each one to see tooltips that explain the options. If you use custom body sliders in Race Menu or have another mod that requires morph files, then tick the box down here for Build Morphs before you click on Build or Batch Build. Body Slide will then create both the outfit NIFs and the morph files that you need. And that's it for this Body Slide Quick Start Guide. If you would like more in-depth tutorials, please see the playlist shown here. Once you learn the basics, Body Slide is easy to use, and it's a really powerful tool for customizing bodies, outfits, and armors. Kudos and thanks to Osnius and the Body Slide team.